Greetings, I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Monday, January 2nd. We're here on the second day of 2023 and uh, the moon is in Taurus for most of the day. Later in the day, it goes into Gemini. So we're making that shift from uh, the Taurus energy of the earth, uh, the physical world, our senses, taking care of our bodies, experiencing beauty and pleasure. And uh, I was sharing with you on Saturday about how to make the most of this uh, energy of Taurus and how to work with that. So check that out if you missed it. Also yesterday, a uh, great video for you on how to make the most of 2023, how to work with the energies throughout the year to manifest, to actualize, to uh, be your most creative and abundant and joyful self and life. Um, and uh, so shared with you my thoughts on how to make the most of 2023 as you go through the year to uh support yourself in your very best self-care and uh, live according to your highest visions. So um, so check that out if you missed it because that's that's like uh, a really good anchor for the for the year. And uh, and then today the moon is waxing. So we are in this uh, implementation phase, this action movement, trying things out phase uh, with setting your intentions. We are continuing to move forward and think about plans and foundations and structures that are going to support us uh, going forward and what we want in the coming year. So, um, so it's a great time to be thinking about what you want, to be trying things, to be making some plans and committing to things even. And uh, what even as we commit, we can let go, right? We can let go of our attachment, but make that commitment to this is the ultimate outcome I want. And I'm open to seeing what's going to best support me in getting there. So that Taurus moon is reminding us to appreciate what we have, to be grateful for the things that we value, uh, the abundance that's there in our lives, what gives us pleasure and beauty. And it's really important that we remind ourselves how to receive, how to take in the gifts that, uh, that we have in our lives and that the world has to offer. And then as the moon goes into Gemini, we shift from this earthy Taurus energy into uh, a more mental space, a more thinking and communication kind of um, way of being and uh, seeking information, asking questions. So as we're working with intentions uh, from yesterday's video, we're going to be thinking about what information do we need to gather? What, uh, you know, what, what do we need to share, to think through, to talk through, to discuss with someone else, um, to do research on, to explore? And so uh, that Gemini energy is the energy of learning new things of um, and of bringing in information that's going to support our intentions. So always coming back to those intentions, to those seeds that we're planting. And this is the um, the moon the, with the moon in Gemini. It's the time of the month when we want to be seeking information, asking questions, um, getting curious and uh, sharing our thoughts. It's also great, by the way, for writing. So brainstorming, writing things out, journaling. Um, that, that can be a way to help you kind of unfurl what's going on in your mind and think through, you know, wh when you set intentions, um, what is that about? Why do you want those things? What's important about that to you? That could be a good uh, thing to journal about. Why is it important to you? And, uh, and and what would it give you? How would it benefit you if you had those intentions? So there's a little journal prompt you can use to work with your New Year intentions. Um, and then we'll continue. I'll continue to share with you as we go through day by day here, uh, each moon uh, sign and the moon cycles and phases and how they can support you in working with your intentions. So thanks for being here and uh, for planting your seeds and doing your best to be your best self. 
and uh, having a sense of humor about all of it because sometimes we just have to let go or we have to remember that Mercury, the trickster, which is currently retrograde, sometimes is telling us that what we thought uh, was a little misguided. <laughs> so Mercury likes to remind us that we really don't have control over what we think we have control over, but we do have that deeper place of self-trust to follow our intuition, follow our path of truth. And within that path of truth, we have uh, the ability to generate outcomes that are very beneficial and healing and bring us joy and all the things we want. So thanks for being here. Check me out at astrologyheals.com if you're interested in getting support through working with your own chart this year. This is a perfect time to schedule some time with me and uh, work on intentions based on your own truth, your own soul's purpose, and the healing work that you are currently doing. Astrologyheals.com is where to learn about how to work with me. And the subscribe button is how to make sure that you get these videos uh, and reminders of them to uh, support you in your daily uh, optimization of the astrological energies for your own self-care. All right. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.